All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day here, another video. Uh, today is consignment auction day uh, with my good friend, auctioneer Les. Uh, Les has been auctioneer here in the Lehigh Valley for quite some time. He's been a longtime subscriber of the channel, so very cool to get out there and uh, hopefully buy some things at his auction. Uh, it's supposed to be a consignment auction. I went to one like about a month ago. This one's supposed to be fairly pretty big, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's uh, let's make it a fun one, try to find some treasure. Need to uh, Need to fill the warehouse, so... Let's hopefully buy some box locks and see what happens. Make it a fun day at the auction. Let's do it. All right, here's the furniture section. Got a couple lamp tables. I think that's what that is, a lamp table. Kind of neat, like a pine cabinet kind of thing. Call it a microwave cart. Put the microwave on top. Put your accessories down below. Oh, that's really nice. It's one of those cicadas. You don't look like you're in too good of a shape right now. Very interesting blow mold. I've never seen something so... Uh... He must be fairly new. And they decide to make them wider because they fall over a lot. Better center of gravity? I don't know. These are kind of cool. Big fan of like just boxes, following like Christmas stuff. Some really nice boxes. Ooh, that guy's old. One thing I've noticed, like in Pennsylvania, the whole barn scene is something that's really huge around here. Barns, covered, uh, covered bridges. <laughs> All right, I have so many people at five. Let's see, seven and a half. Seven and a half. I have Lana at seven and a half. Now ten, ten, but not ten. More ten, ten, but not ten. Ten and a half. Now twelve and a half. Now fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen and a half. Fifteen. Still twelve and a half dollars. Number two oh three. Twelve and a half dollars. Number two oh three. Ladder. Takes the ladder. All right, let's go again. Five dollars. Five and a half. Now seven and a half. I heard people say that. Two and a half. I have now four. Four, but I'm four, but I'm four, and we're four. Right. Two and a half dollars. So number. One five two. Are you missing Ted? Are you? I I'm, I'm seeing you and I'm gonna come to you. Okay. I'm at seventeen fifty. I'm looking for twenty. Twenty two fifty. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty seven fifty. Thirty. Thirty two fifty. Thirty five. Thirty five. Thirty five. Anywhere. Thirty five. Five. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Anywhere. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. These are like pretty cool. Cast iron of some sort. I don't know how many weights are supposed to be heavy. Are they? Good morning. 
Yeah, they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be iron. All right, so I didn't really grab a whole lot today. Um, it just, there wasn't a whole lot there for me. Not a lot of box slots, a lot of smalls, but um, prices just, they were pretty good. Uh, not buying reason, but I think uh, I think a lot of people are spending a lot more money now just in general and everything, and that's why we're seeing a lot of prices go up. Um, but aside from that, I mean, it was still a fun auction to be at, and uh, I did grab a couple things. I thought this was a really good score. Maybe I'm completely wrong with it, but uh, we got some older toys here. And older, I mean, probably like, what, 70s or so? Because I paid a dollar for this box. It's got some Fisher Price. I don't know. What what the heck is this? Oh. Well, that's bringing me a, a blast. And a, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, still got it. Doesn't have a, doesn't have a date on it. I don't see a lot of CD players anymore. A little bonus clip right there. There's another piece as well. I'll see that in the next video. Um, this is kind of neat. I think this is a typewriter. So there's a trick with these things. Yeah, it's usually just... Oh, wow. Ooh, a kid's typewriter. That's pretty cool. I uh, got some toys and stuff. Uh, one thing I thought was really cool, I thought this was a great deal for $2, was this cuckoo clock. I can never figure out the whole thing of cuckoo clocks. Like, some are worth thousands upon thousands of dollars. Every time I go to an auction, just like parts and bits and pieces. This is made in Japan. It's marked. Um, like, bits and pieces will go for like $70. If this thing was all taken apart and there was just like a frame and these were taken off. I've seen them go for like 70 bucks. I don't know if I'm just missing it. Or someone else missed it today, or I just get the wrong stuff. But for some reason, cuckoo clocks fetch a decent amount. And then lastly, lastly, I'll go ahead and throw this into the studio. I need to find myself a flat. But I got some belt buckles. Oh wow, the place is so empty. I hear an echo in here. I got some belt buckles, and I can never figure out the deal with belt buckles either. I can't remember if I found some in the trash or I bought some that were in a box lot. But I put up a couple of belt buckles for $40 on eBay, and they sold after about two months. I think uh, Potter County is a big, like, hunting area. Belt buckles, belt buckles. So they sold after, like, two months. I had two or three up there. And I'm pretty confident I got them in the trash somehow, or they were in, like, a scrap pile or something. And, uh, I mean, they sat around, but they sold really, really well. So with that said, I like, it's one of those things, I'm not going to collect belt buckles, but it seems to be like a huge collector thing is belt buckles. So maybe it is. Speaking of that, I don't even know anyone who wears them. Uh, it's kind of weird. I was trying to drive, I was driving back and I was thinking about it. People who would probably wear it are people who tuck in their pants. Not a lot of people around here kind of tuck in shirts into their pants. It's like, just like, I don't know if it's a style thing or a culture thing. But I know even growing up, like, no one really tucked in their pants. Um, I think it's more of, like, a culture thing. See, I need to fix that. So, like, belt buckles, like, I don't remember anyone ever wearing them because, well, guess what? No one ever had to wear them because you never see them. This door needs some serious work. I need to fix that. Always something. A lot of people also said I should probably do a video of me sweeping up around here. Uh, if I got everything off at the floor, maybe I'd have enough to sell at the flea market, but uh, realistically, I don't think I would, but um, I do need to do some sweeping. Who knows? Maybe in a future day. I can't decide that today because in about 15 minutes, I go out trash picking again, running very, very, very far behind today. Uh, just way too many things going on here in the summer. Time management out the window, but... Yeah, stay tuned for trash picking. Thanks for coming along for another adventure. It's always fun to see less auction life in the cruise. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.